Hola, buenas tardes. We are here in uh, Santa Cruz and uh, we have a few minutes, it's the end of the day. And we're here at the replica of the Santa Maria, the ship that uh, Columbus uh, used to go to discover India, he thought. But uh, there is a very intriguing story about the Canary Islands. And Juan Carlos, you wanted to tell us about that because you did some research on this. Yeah, well, actually it's interesting to know that the love affair of uh, the governor of the of the La Gomera, which was a beautiful woman and very powerful, and when uh, Christopher Columbus arrived arrived in La Gomera for a short scale, uh, she stayed for months because have a love affair with this woman, and in this time uh, he has to go to uh, fix the how you say the rod of the rudder the rudder of one of the of the the, the ships to Gran Canaria, and the interesting thing is that going. In the, in the journey to Gran Canaria, he passed in the southern coast of Tenerife and he quotes in his, uh, uh, how you say? In his log. The, 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 the Diario log log. de Abordo. Yes, exactly. the board log. <laughs> exactly. He said I, that he saw a big fire in La Sierra del Teide. At that time, Teide was called the peak. Sierra means a ridge. Yes. And this all helped to solve one of the problems because people thought for a long time that the last eruption, what we call the black lavas, was a, a historical erosion, well, historical erosion coincided with the, 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 the journey of uh, Christopher Columbus to, to the Canaries. And in fact, these uh, black uh, lavas are medieval, are from 500 years or more. And the, the, the volcano that Christopher Columbus reports in his Diario de Abordo is in fact a small volcano, a cinder cone, very similar to, to Chingero, the last eruption of Tenerife in 1909, and very close, about one kilometer. And this is more reasonable to think uh, that that was the, the, how you say, the, 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 the eruption. eruption. And then we check that with a carbon-14 date that coincided with the, the epoch of Columbus and up with a, another charcoal that dated the last eruption of Teide in the medieval ages. Wonderful. So the lava snake has... wouldn't happen if, the, if Colombo has not a love affair <laughs> and stay for months. <laughs> with the wife of the governor of <laughs> exactly. uh, La Gomera. Yes. Well, well, and he was she was a, a, a widow. The governor oh, I see. Died. And she then was the widow. She was okay. the, she was the factual uh, governor. Yeah. So, but that was the reason why he hung out in the Canaries Absolutely. for much longer than he was supposed to. Uh, and I understand the Queen of Spain got a little bit and angry. And finally, with him. finally, uh, the Queen of Spain was impatient that uh, Columbus stayed for so long and gave an order of immediately depart for the. Discover the, the for India. The India that <laughs> yes. actually was America. Of course, so, <laughs> wonderful. So yeah, love can actually help with geology uh, as strange as it is. Love affair and geology used yeah. to have some, <laughs> <I> some <see>. link. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So I'll uh, quickly move up and down the mast here, and this is the beautiful replica here, and it's a commemoration of the uh, journey of discovery by Christopher Columbus, and. Uh, it's a, ooh, a rather beautiful ship, although personally I'm not sure I would want to cross the Atlantic on this kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, Juan Carlos, this was a great uh, report on uh, how the medieval uh, eruption was distinguished from the Columbus eruption, the absolutely, 1492 absolutely. eruption. And now, and now it's accepted that there are two different, completely different eruptions. Yes. One is a very small Strombolian eruption, like the, the last, uh, the Chingero, and the other is a big summit eruption of Teide Volcano at 3,718 3, meters above sea level. No, this is great. And actually, I understand that Columbus was uh, quite educated and he wrote in his log that he compared it to Etna. Exactly. He thought when the, the sailors of the boat were become, uh, how you say... They were scared. Scared. He said, don't worry because I have seen this very time in the... In the in Sicilia, in the Edna, and this is very similar, and it's not. Uh, 
nothing to worry about, no, no worry bad about. omen or anything but like that. Being in the sea. Yes. So he was very knowledgeable to be fair to Absolutely. him. So wow, quite Absolutely. impressive. Thank you, Juan Carlos. This was fantastic. All the very best. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Enjoy. Join us again very soon. Bye.